Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, he's recording. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, let's start on time. Everybody, welcome to the Thursday night call. Uh, my name is Barbara, and I'd like to introduce our wonderful uh, host, Rita. Um, I, I'm so excited that, Mike, you were able to record. Thank you, thank you. Um, sometimes Zoom can be funny, and so we just roll with it. Uh, so Rita, as you, some of you may know, is just a lovely soul. Um, she and I have been friends for a number of years. Um, she just has a heart as big as the outdoors. I love her and her family. Um, so I'm excited to, ha to hear what she's going to bring to us tonight. Um, if everybody can make sure they're muted, um, I'm going to turn it over to our lovely host, Rita. Go ahead, Rita. Thank you, Coach Barbara. Thank you so much for that amazing um, introduction. I appreciate you. And everyone here, I just want to welcome you. This is just a way that I've been able to create with my mentors um, to serve and give back to our communities. And uh, tonight, I was really excited because Melody Riva is the topic. And if you don't already know her, you're going to know a lot more about her today. Um, she is my personal mentor and success coach. She is a life mentor. She's much more than what you um, usually find when you think of trainers or coaches, um, when you're looking at this kind of area, personal development, um, growth. Um, if anybody's also getting messages, the link to this call is actually posted on the Melody Here to Serve post. So if anybody by chance sees messages coming, I'm, I'm trying to catch them all here too. Um, you're welcome to send them back to that post. But thank you for joining. Hi, Terrence. Uh, hello, Scott, Coach Scott. Mike Dean is on, Coach Teresa, Coach Barbara. Uh, Dana Ditton, hello. Um, Rashawn, hi. Great, so grateful. And everyone that's gonna watch the replay, I really appreciate your time and tuning in to better you and to just find more resources and just take a look at something else um, from somebody else's perspective. Um, so Heather, thank you for joining. Um, we're so glad you're here. If you're an unmuted, once you come in, just mute yourself would be great. Um, so Melody Riva, who knows Melody Riva? Uh, yeah, you know, I was introduced to her over a year ago. I was introduced to her. Um, and it was during a time where I really was struggling quite a bit. And hi, Jules. Um, hi, Fahad, great that you got on, awesome. So, you know, it was during a time I was struggling in a lot of areas of life. And what I was choosing to do during that time when I was struggling in a lot of areas, I chose to just try to work on my business. I was like, you know what, I'm kind of having a hard time here and having a hard time here and I really don't know what to do in those areas. So I'm just going to work on my business because that's businessy, right? That doesn't take feelings or emotion or heart. It's just business. So let's just try to build a business. Let me just work on that. Um, and I quickly realized that without a strong foundation, it's really hard to build anything, whether it's a business, a relationship, a love life. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, if we're building on a sand or, um, you know, something that's just not stable and sound, then we're gonna keep struggling, right? Because we're gonna keep building and keep building and keep building and there will never be an outcome. There's, and Melody is the one that opened my eyes to this very powerfully, um, how we should be measuring our outcome on a regular basis. If it's not daily, at least weekly, absolutely monthly. When I talk to people these days and they say they've been in their company for like months and months and months and there's no numbers to measure, they don't know where they're, growing or where they're not they're just doing so i have something in our team that i learned from another team so i actually can't even hear it or something okay and um but what i really quickly found is that once you find balance a general sense of balance and discipline um and it doesn't have to be hard you know super simple just a few minutes here and there uh, for me is what i started doing right instead of putting those time, that time into my business, uh, Melody really inspired in me um, to put that time into me. And to hello everyone that's joining on the call. Thank you so much. If you're joining from your phone and you're just listening, welcome. 
Um, if you're joining on video, welcome. Um, please just mute yourself. And I, we, we so appreciate you being here. We're excited to share uh, more about the power of words. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. If you don't already have this document, okay, Melody created this document called the power in words. And um, it's, it's the document itself is so powerful. If you read it, I'm not going to read it here today because it's a bit of time to read through it. And most of you, many of you should already have it. And, um, you know, in Melody's 30 Day Accountability, we're, we're reading this um, every day, right? Or on a regular basis. So this is something that we're exposed to. We should be being exposed to. Most of us are in Melody's course. If you're not already in Melody's 30 Day Accountability course um, and you need this document, just reach out to really anyone on this call. The person that invited you to the call probably has the document, um, or Melody, of course, or myself. And we will get it to you because it's very powerful. It's changed my entire life. And I'm gonna share with you some things and some ways that it's done that. Um, real tangible ways, like everyday things that you can look at and really apply it to your life situation, um, whatever situation that is, right? It's, it really does help um, in, in so many areas of life. So first, Pooch Barbara, can you hear me okay? Am I okay? My headphones haven't arrived yet. Okay, good. I just want to make sure you can hear me. Okay, so um, Melody, the beginning of this document, The Power of Words, the very beginning of it is Melody's uh, perspective interview. Hi, Melody. Oh my gosh, I just caught your angel face. Thank you for joining and supporting. I'm so grateful for your support and for you being here. So her, the first page of this document, what I found a lot of people do because I did the same thing, is they just skip over it. They just go right to page two because page two is where uh, the words are, right? That's where people are thinking, that's where the goods are. That's where the nuggets are. The exact words I need to see. Yes, power in words. Um, so powerful, friends. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited to share this with you today. Um, yes, she's becoming everyone's angel, I'm telling you. Because um, I've been on her wings for a while now. And, you know, you, you do something long enough and you can't help but create momentum. And you can't help but for people to notice. And you can't help but for people to start talking about it and asking you about it. And, you know, people really wonder, um, can you really get to that point where people are asking you what you do? Can you really get to the point where you're no longer um, approaching strangers about your opportunity. Yes. Um, you can even get to the point where you don't even approach strangers to be new friends. You could really get to that point, but like Melanie um, inspires in us to be the leaders and to go first and to be the example and to do the things we're asking other people to do. And I just thank God, Melanie, that I opened my heart and became way more coachable um, than I was previously in my life and that I was open to this, to you sharing this powerful document and also to allowing it to change my life, um, a, a document, right? Words. We think that, that this is just black words on paper, right? If you haven't printed it out yet, by the way, I highly recommend that you print these things out and look at these words every day. Yes, um, Coach Teresa is just a perfect example because seeing them and like putting your hands on it and really feeling it, um, believe it or not, it's impactful. It's powerful. It really, really is. The more you can connect with this um, in your everyday life, the more that it's going to stay with you and that you're going to remember it and you're going to feel it and you're going to, it's going to come to you at different times when you don't even think about it. It's really powerful. So always keep it by your side, at least especially while you're working and during your morning um, ritual. I would recommend those two times, morning ritual and during your work times when you batch process as a mom, I have to batch process my work. Melody was an example to teach me how to do this. Um, I can't just sit down for five hours at work, right? I got to batch my work. I usually do about 20 to 30 minutes at a time. Most of the time is in the morning and then throughout the day I can touch. I can touch my business, literally touch it. And um, she's created this, this amazing system for us to really truly find freedom. You know, when I say freedom, obviously freedom for me means time having the time that I want to spend with my family. Um, but freedom for you might mean something else. It might mean going to the Bahamas, right? Like Melody just did. It might mean um, buying a horse for your child to learn how to ride and to give their passions, you know, growth. Um, whatever it is, 
I can imagine that it's going to take some money to make that happen. So the beauty of all this is that Melody Rive has created a system, obviously Robert Hollis as well. She is Robert Hollis's protege. Um, she just became a millionaire this past year, by the way. I'm going to give her that recognition and congratulations right now too on here live. Um, because that is huge. I mean, we often think that that's only a dream, but it can absolutely come true. And Melody is our example. If you've read The Science of Getting Rich, if you're a believer, you know that abundance and blessings and God's gifts are not, um, they are, there are no limits. There are no labels and titles and um, nothing written or physical that can separate us from those gifts and those things that God has for us. It's so powerful. Um, so, so powerful. Um, but there's a few things we've got to do to get there. So my first thing here today is to share is that if you don't already read this every day, begin reading it every day. You might think, I'm good with my words. I'm good with my talk. I'm seeing abundance, right? Riches are coming to me. Love is coming to me. I'm good. Everything's going well. Just imagine that flow becoming a river or a, a, like a white water rapids, right? That's what I'm talking about here. So there's no ceiling, right? So it's up to us how much we want to commit, how much do we really want to put into this? Totally up to us. Money, time, every, you know, there's so many options, right? Time's not an option for me a lot of the time, right? I choose that though. I choose to spend time with my family more than I work. Um, and that was always a dream to me, to create my life around my family instead of the other way around. Most of the world does it the other way around. We know this, right? We know it. Um, and, and this is part of my dream here and what God's put in my heart um, to just help share exactly what Melody and Robert are doing because it's working. It's working for me. It's working for everyone else that's putting it into practice. And... Um, my issue when it was not working for me was that I wasn't being consistent enough and I wasn't doing enough of the activity um, on a regular basis. I wasn't doing anything, I'm not doing anything different now than I was a year ago. Um, I'm just being more consistent. I'm being more uh, committed. I'm committed to my dream. I actually see a purpose in this now, where in the beginning I didn't. So um, I'm gonna give you a few things here that I just came up with from reading Melody's Power and Words that really, really inspired um, me to share with you. So number one is be open. Be open. Um, not only more spiritually to a spiritual side because we know that there's more than what we can see. Call it what you will, energy, spirit, the universe, um, God. Um, there's so many names and titles we put on. I have just been led through inspiration to remove the titles and to just claim um, that I am just open to seeing truth and seeing your truth and to seeing your truth, Scott, and to seeing your truth, Dana, and to seeing your truth, Coach Barbara, and to just being okay with that and to not wanting to change who you are or what you believe, um, but to inspire in you that if you want to make those changes, that I support you. Um, so be open to, to doing something different, to starting a, a, to put something into your routine each day that you do not normally already do. It's probably part of the 30 day accountability, something you're leaving out that you think, oh, this might not be important. Maybe it's your edification video. Maybe it's like when I went through that course three times, there were things every single time I went through it that I had skipped the time before. And when I would do that and add that in, it was like, pop, paradigm shifting um, changes would happen. Sometimes within one day, I would start getting, no, no kidding, like um, amazing success in areas I was looking for. After making one simple little change that I had been missing, missing, and missing the time before. So if you've got the 30 day accountability, review it, make sure you're putting every step into place. Uh, be open to trying something that you might be uncomfortable doing, trying. Um, maybe it's a meditation. You know, I hear people all the time saying, well, I'm not comfortable with meditation. I'm not used to that. I keep still. And, and that's all okay. But it's also all a choice. Every single thing we do or don't do is a choice. And, you know, I didn't know that. Myself, as a grown woman adult, I didn't put that out there humbly. 
I did not know that. And now I do, and I'm here just to share with everyone else to just be inspired that it is a choice of where we spend our time and what we do and just be open to doing new things. Um, number two is evaluate your time. Evaluate your time because that's the biggest excuse we have is we don't have time. Melody and Robert give us a simple, simple way to do this. For two to three days, you write every single thing you do from morning to night. From the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed. What I did as well was include emotion, the way I felt, my mood, how my mood shifted throughout the day and what triggered those mood shifts. This is very important because a lot of times we don't realize when we get into a funk, what is putting us in that funk. And the only way to know this, I can't come to your life. I wish I could. I want to come to all your houses and visit you. I went to visit Coach Barbara here in Arizona. And just what a blessing to get that real hug, right? Coach Barbara, oh, you know, we all want to do that. But the truth is it's only up to us. Our habits, what we do each day, our coaches, our mentors, they can't change us. They can only help us to find what we need to change ourselves. And that's just so powerful. Um, evaluate your time and make sure you know where it's going because it's the one thing that we all have that is the same across the board. Everybody has 24 hours a day, every single person, um, and it's a choice. And, you know, don't feel bad when you're in a season of relaxation. Don't be hard on yourself when it's time to relax. Terrence, Coach Terrence, he shared on Melody's call yesterday on the Beyond the Secret call how he's just been abundant in the flow. Right? And then he took a couple days to binge watch Netflix. Kudos. I'm like, do it. You know, you get disciplined enough and you're free to make the choices to binge watch every now and then because you know you've got the discipline to come back up and get back on track when you need to. Right? Creating that discipline. It took me a year to create discipline for some things that now I can go off and have some fun and do some things without overdoing. But a year ago, I couldn't. Shopping was one. Pull out that credit card like that if I didn't have the cash. I no longer do that. And that is not an option for me anymore. If I can't, if, if I don't have the cash, um, I'll make the cash and then I'll go buy it for cash. I don't use my credit card anymore. Um, the third one is simply strive. So when you're striving, you're not struggling. Big difference. If you feel you're struggling, uh, think of what you need to do to just be striving. Just strive to be that 1% better each day. If you're struggling, you're probably trying to go above 1%. You're probably um, spending time, you know, staying up late. You're, you're, you're binging your work. Maybe you're doing like 100 contacts at once instead of 20 and really, really connecting. Um, you know, simply strive for what you want. There's no struggle in our purpose. So when we're really living for our purpose, we can strive. We can strive and we can join others along their striving, supporting each other. You know, I share Coach Barbara's post. I share my mentor Melody's post almost every day because I want to give back to her. Everything she, there's no way I can give back everything she's given me, for one, that's for sure. Um, but any little way I can share her post or share a video or invite people to join her group, I'm going to do that. Um, and that's in my schedule every day. Um, but it helps me to strive as I'm um, joining along with others, right? Because I see them doing the same thing. They're not on Facebook all day. Sometimes I see a whole day go by. Melody does not post. Shocker, she does not live on Facebook. And that is my inspiration. I'm like, can I be a millionaire and not live on social media? Yes, I can. And it's because I'm here, though. It's because I'm following those that are doing it. Er, thank you for opening the way, truly. Because you guys know, if you're here learning this and if you've been in Melody's classes, this is not something we learn in school. This is not information and wisdom that most people are willing to share, honest to goodness. Um, so number four is practice faith. I'm not talking religion, um, although that is important. That was number one, being open to something new or spiritual or just something. But practicing faith here, what I'm talking about here is having faith that you can do it having faith in you so the way we do that is we stay accountable to somebody that's going to keep pushing us and keep reminding us who we are when we forget during those times that we're you know in the depth dark deepest place of our day um it can happen it happens still to everyone um but when we're staying accountable to someone 
It's powerful because we're never, ever alone, ever. So we must choose to be accountable to someone else, though. I've learned this with being accountable to Melody. Someone's not going to chase you down and beat you over the head. And what are you doing? I haven't seen you in five days. Nobody's going to do that. Um, but you can choose to be accountable. And be accountable to the right people. This is huge, guys, because there's so many people out there that they want to love us. And they want to care for us. Um, they want to be there for us. Many of them think they are. Many of them think they're literally changing our lives by teaching us the things that they're teaching us because somebody taught it to them and that's just what they're supposed to do. Um, but truthfully, the people we follow is who we become. And if we're following other people that are struggling and that are not becoming what they want to become, then we're going to continue to struggle and not become what we want to become. So um, the science of getting rich makes it real clear that we cannot split our attention, that we can't split our energy, that we've got to focus on one thing and one thing at a time until we get it and until something else can't squirrel us away from it, right? Some people, it takes longer than others. You see, you see Melody's videos from a year ago. There's a lot of people that are not here anymore. And it's not because it doesn't work. It just, it, I do believe it's because it just, there wasn't enough time given. I don't know what everyone goes through in their personal life, but I know I, I've been here long enough to say I'm getting paid uh, and on a regular basis from multiple industries. So it absolutely works. And I'm doing nothing I was doing before I joined Melody's course. I'm doing nothing I was doing before. So it absolutely works. Um, and the last one is coming to joy. And that's what I'm going to leave you with. Just as much joy as you can fill in your life. Robert tells me this all the time when I'm having a, a, a challenge and I'll message him. I mean, that's another thing. Who has a millionaire mentor that they can just message every now and then? And, and who cares about their life? You know, Robert was messaging and Melody was helping me before I ever qualified for binary, before I ever hit the, 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 the pool, you know, the, I don't even know what it's called. I'm so like that much, not a business person. Like people keep asking me about the business and I, I just didn't get her back off because that's where I go. When I want to learn about my business, I go to my back office and I take a look at my business. Um, I don't go to somebody else to tell me about my business my business um but i'm blessed and grateful and so are all of you because if you are here i guarantee you you're a student of melanie and robert as well so you've all been blessed with this as well and it's something that we lie to ourselves first um but here's the big thing once we find our joy we find our purpose and whatever this is for us you know um in the big picture yes this gave me an income and it did fulfill that need that I had or that desire but because I chose to focus on the first that's why because when I realized I was struggling and I had a wall up I chose to take the wall down and not to just keep eating the wall um, and I just found joy and they just say do what you love to do because everything else is off the place and as I've been spending more time with my family um, doing this I mean this traveling came as because of this we would not be here doing this if it wasn't because Robert and Melody and what they've given us. We would not be doing this. So, you know, being able to fulfill my joy, all of my joy is in my life, really. I mean, I cry almost every day. Melody knows I send her Robert messages all the time, crying my eyes out. Because, not because I'm happy, because I'm struggling, because I have issues that I'm working on. And I'm still working through every single day of my life. There's always going to be issues, guys. That's the thing. You know, my journey to freedom, that's what it's all about. It's all about the journey. Your journey and Terrence's journey and Daniel's journey and Coach Barbara's, everybody's journey. It's all about yours. And so many of us look to other people to find joy in our own journey. You know, we look to other people. Now, I know, you know, I keep talking about my mentor, right? So, again, that's where you just have to be very aware and conscious of who you're following. Who you're following and where they're leading you. Are they leading you to their joy or are they leading you to your joy? There's a big difference. 
And this is the first time in my life, I'm going to admit, that I've been following and truly say, I feel like in my heart that these, are, these friends and mentors, friends work, are leading me to my joy uh, because I have found it, because I have found it. Um, so I just want to thank you all for coming on live. I'm going to take a quick look here and see hi. Hello, Kimberly, Julie. Dana, hi Dana. Dana is traveling across the country too, and you know, they make it happen. Um, Ellen, hello, good to see you. I see Zach on the phone too. Um, does anybody want to come out and share um, anything? You can unmute yourself if you have the option to do so. If you want to come out, you can just come on out. There's not very many of us on here. Okay, Melody, come on out. Oh my goodness. I, I, I just, you know, I am just thrilled. I've got goosies just listening to you and knowing how your heart is touching so many lives, Rita. You are amazing. You're, you, you've become such a good friend to me, which is priceless, priceless. And watching your growth and watching the lives that you're touching and just learning to get out of your own way and just let go and let God because I know that's what you've done. I am just so, so proud of you. And it just, it just excites me every single day. I just, you give me gooses when I, you send me your messages. And you know, you know, the one thing that I think you do that a lot of people are not willing to do. And that's really to be able to admit when you're struggling. You know, we want everybody to see, think that, oh, you know, people think Robert doesn't ever have a bad day or he never has negative thoughts or, or I, I don't and that we don't have struggles that all of a sudden life is just full of rainbows and unicorns and cotton candy for us, right? It's not the way it is. It's about being able to, okay, this is where I am and this is where I want to go and knowing that the harder we work on ourselves, not the more people we talk to, the harder we work on ourselves the more success we're going to have, the more lives we're going to impact. I was just sharing with Rita and, and many of you that are on this call, you know, our legacy, do you, do you guys know that our legacy is the impact that we leave, the lives that we touch, the positive impact that we make a, a difference in other people's lives. That's our legacy. I used to think it was like, what I'm going to leave my kids when I'm gone, right? That's what I thought it was. It's the lives that we touch, the difference that we make. And that's, you know, when I look at Rita, I see this in her. This is what she does. This is who she is. I mean, she doesn't, this is just from her soul. This is who she is. That beauty just comes out. That love just comes out with every single person she touches. And I just pray that each and every one of you gets to experience that. Because I know you can. I know you can. And there are so many people who go, okay, power in words. Okay, we need to change our thoughts. Mostly the words that we say to ourselves, because those are the most powerful words we say the ones that we say to ourselves. Sometimes we don't say them out loud. I did a lot, saying a lot of negative stuff to myself. Oh, can't you get it right? Why did you do that again? You fell for that again. You know, I mean, I was just, you're just so stupid. That's what I would say all the time to myself. And I needed to change what was here. I read this book. I want to share this with you. Thoughts are things by... Um, Prentice Mulford, Mulford, thoughts are things by Prentice Mulford. And this is so, so powerful because, because, you know, like I posted in the, uh, in the post, our thoughts become our beliefs. Are our thoughts creating negative um, limiting beliefs? Or are they creating empowering beliefs? And this is how you know whether you need to change your thoughts or not. Because if they're empowering you, you know that you've taken some of those words, like the shouldas or the sooner or later, or you know those words, and changed them. It really is about creating a habit and listening, being aware. 
of what we're saying, being aware of what we're thinking. Because oftentimes we all go through life and we go through this busy, sometimes chaotic day because life still throws life at us. And where do we go? First thing, where does this go? The power to change our lives is the six to eight inches between our ears. That's where it is. And you, in the beginning, I used to say, well, I'm a positive person. Holy moly, was I so wrong. Well, I love people. I didn't love myself. I couldn't love anybody else to my best ability. Right? I would be the first to criticize anything and then be the first to cry when I got criticized. There were so many things that I needed to change in my life. There are so many things that we all need to change in our life to create that lifestyle that not only we deserve, but that our families deserve. Those lives that are waiting for us to touch them. Those people that can only hear the message from your voice. They may not hear Robert. They may not hear me. They might not hear Rita. They're praying for an answer and you are the answer. Your voice, your message is the answer for them. So the one thing that I pray for every day is that we can all get out of our way, keep ourselves with the right thoughts in our head so we continue to take action and believe that we can achieve because every single one of you can. People message me all of the time. And I know Rita, I've shared this with you and some of the others, people ask me all the time. So what is Robert's secret sauce? What is he not telling us? He's made everything public. I just happened to be the one that took all those little secrets and put them all together. Most of you have access to that. See, it's about sharing what you're learning and giving value to people every day. We cannot do this effectively with the negative crap that goes in our head. I'm no different than any of you. Rita is no different than any of you. Robert is no different than any of you. Each and every one of you can have the same success. Do y'all believe it? Raise your hand if you believe it. No, really believe it. Like in your gut, you believe it. <clears throat> because it's true. It is true and it's there waiting for you, but it's waiting for us to change this because until I changed this, this wasn't ready to handle success. Until I changed this, I couldn't give the best of me. Until I changed this, I couldn't love each and every one of you the way that I do. Believe in each and every one of you the way that I do. I just couldn't. So it's just working on me, working on me. And it started with those thoughts. It started with my self-talk. It started with my self-love. And almost everybody you come across, and Rita, you bring this up all of the time. And I've watched this growth in you. And this is what excites me, is our self-talk. This book here. This book here. The Greatest Miracle in the World by Og Mandino. I'm, I'm sure you've all heard of it. Maybe players, Og Mandino, um, the greatest miracle in the world. To be able to love oneself, to be able to trust oneself, to be able to build that confidence in us, that self-esteem in us, that self-trust in us. So we know us. We know when we've blown it. We've known when we made mistakes. We know that we never followed through. We know that we've let ourselves down before. We need to build this so we can help everybody else. And 
almost everybody I talk to, almost every single person I talk to every single day doesn't have the self-confidence, doesn't have the self-love, doesn't have that self-trust. They don't believe themselves when they say, I'm going to make it happen this time. Because they let themselves down before. Because they were walking around faking it to other people. I had to become humble. Say, you know what? I don't know. But I'm learning from this guy. I'm learning from this incredible guy that has this inspirational rags to riches story. And I am following what he's doing because I wasn't getting the success I wanted in my life. I couldn't figure out how to change anything. I gave up on trying. If we just go out there and tell people and be honest, be ourselves, be okay with, look, I'm still a student. I'm still learning. I'm still growing and learn to point, guide, and direct to somebody other than ourselves. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, I, I was able to get $10,000 a month in under 90 days. Took me to a million dollars in under a year. I still point, guide, and direct. Do y'all think that maybe I can use my own documentation now to fall back on? I could. I can teach you. Dana, I can teach you how to make a million dollars. Right? Mike, I can show you how to make $10,000 a month in under 90 days. You know what I can't do? I can't change what's here. I can give you the tools that I used. I can't make you do it. I can't make you change your thoughts. I can't make you take action. Rita, I'm watching her. I've been watching her change her thoughts. And as she changes her thoughts and isn't being afraid to share with people, you know what? Sometimes life is hard. Sometimes it's hard to be a mom. Sometimes it's hard to be a wife. Sometimes it's hard to be strong. She's not afraid to let let people know that, yeah, she struggles too. And I'll be one of the first to tell you that I struggle too. So we don't have to put on this other persona of how we want people to perceive us. If you want to make those connections, those heart connections with people, let them see the, the real you. Let them know, I'm not getting the success I'm looking for. You got to talk to this person. You got you to gotta meet Rita. You got to reach out to Robert Hollis. Right? There is nothing we do difficult. There is nothing. Nothing. If you guys knew how little I sat in front of my computer, it's probably a majority of the time that you see me in front of the computer. Because most everything I do from my phone, and that's only a few days a week. I get to live my life doing what I want to do when I want to do it with who I want to do it with. See, that's true freedom. And Robert calls us up, says, hey, we're going to the Bahamas on Wednesday. You know what? Terrence and I are like, we're there. We're there. Because we know the value of being able to not only own our time, but to choose who we spend it with. And when I saw the opportunity of spending it with Gary Cox and Robert Hollis, I wasn't going to miss it. Wasn't going to miss it. Can all of you drop everything and head to the Bahamas with us on Wednesday? You need a passport? You might need to get a you know, leave of absence or days off from your job. And about $6,000. Who's going? Gets a little difficult, huh? It all starts here. 
you know, I was sharing with Zach. I saw Zach pop on here. I was sharing with him and his incredible group of of leaders and and his team and and you know it all boils boils down to whether you think you can or you think you can't you're right that sums up the power in words Just bottom line whether you think you can or you think you can't you're right and this is totally off topic but i feel like i need to say this today rita so please Thank you. If you're in a business, I don't care what business that is, and you're serious about that business, you come in where at the top of that business. If you want to make money, you make sure you're paying the top auto ship every month because otherwise you are not serious about your business. You're treating it as a hobby. You're going to see if it works. Maybe you've got your big toe in the water to see if it's warm enough to jump in. If you're serious about what you're doing, treat it like it's your baby. Like everything rests on that and know that it doesn't matter what it is. You're, you can succeed in that. Somebody else has done it. You can do it too. All in. That's right. I know Zach is all in. I love and appreciate you all for being here, for supporting this beautiful lady, my beautiful friend, Rita, Coach Rita. I'm going to pass it back to you, darling. Thank you so much. Wow. Guys, oh my gosh, how amazing is that? Woo! If you knew the value of this woman's time that she's giving us here. So powerful. So obviously, if you don't already have this document, you need the document. So reach out to one of us to get it. Um, this is a weekly call that we have in my Freedom Mastery group. It is a members group. This call was open because I am here to serve and share everything Robert and Melody give to us. And you guys know they give and give and give. So I'm just turning it around and giving it back as well. Um, this is this document. So I'm going to give you one last thing here for anybody that's still on and a, a tangible way that I use this every day to talk to people. So I keep this document here. I showed you I have these printed out. I have the God memorandum as well printed out. The I am statements, all very important to have printed out. And I have them next to me as I'm working and communicating with people. So not only does it keep my communication on track, but I can quickly check this new person that I've been talking to. I can check their communication and I can see exactly where their mind and heart is at based on their one sentence. One or two sentences is all I need. I ask one or two questions and all I need to see is what the words are that they're, that they're using because we know I wrote this down. It's very powerful. Proverbs 18.4 says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So, um, Melody, when you were saying this, I've got to say this, I got to say a little bit more about this because this is where my eyes really opened to where people really are. Not that I need, not that they need my help, right? They don't need our help. People don't need our help. It's, it's when people realize they want to do something different and they don't realize why it's not happening, right? So we can now, with this power in words, um, help share with them. Um, you send them this power in words. Anyone, anyone you see using those words, you send them this document ASAP. My mentor wrote this and it changed my entire life. Please take a look and let me know if you find value. And that's it. And then I won't really come back to that unless they repeat, unless they respond. And that's how I know those are the people that are looking to change and that are maybe struggling. I don't know. I'm not going to assume they are. But then I'll continue that conversation because they're open to looking at that. And, and, and usually it's a powerful response. They'll say something like, OMG, I use these words every day. Or, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is something I do all the time. That's it. Some days, that's my purpose for that person and that friend. Like, that was my purpose. Not to share my link or to give them an invite to my group. I didn't even invite everybody to this free call. I didn't because I see now through the power of words, 
where people are and what they're ready for. And if you're going to try to give somebody a cake and they've never eaten cake, they're going to get sick and they're not going to be able to take it. So just like the Bible teaches us to give in accordance to our growth and just to keep feeding ourselves, right? You just keep feeding yourself and as you do, you'll grow. Same thing with this power in words and all these resources Melody and Robert give us. Just keep recycling. Re recycling it into your your eyes and your mind every day and absolutely you will become more powerful there's just no way around it i wasn't trying to become more powerful i was just trying to become more free um but now i feel i have this strength and this power that people can't see and that it's not something i you know i'm bragging about or proud of because it's nothing that only i have everybody can have this 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 power to see people's words and to see where they are through their words. So anybody that has that, that has that goal to help people, which I know is probably all of us here. That's why I'm here. I love people. I love humanity. I love seeing people succeed like Melody and Robert. I love when I see someone get a deposit and they're like, holy cow, where did that come from? Like, that's what I like to see, to help people do things they don't even realize they know how to do. That's just amazing to me. We, and we all can do it. I love you all. I'm just so grateful that you all are here. Um, I, I like to keep these calls short. This Again, though, this is very powerful. I'm going to open this up. If anybody wants to ask questions, I am available to stay. If you're not available to stay, but if you've enjoyed this and you like this and you want to become a member of the community or Melody's community, um, please reach out to us reach out, send Melody a personal message, send me a personal message. Um, anybody that invited you to this call, send them a personal message and just say thank you. Um, and what's next, you know? Do you want more free content or would you like to just join the community? You know, committing is, is the first step in change and it takes courage to commit. I know it does. Um, and we're just here to be support and help you with the resources um, that that you're looking for. So um, if anybody has any specific questions, you can go ahead and raise your hand and I'm going to look. I just found out here. I can see where everyone's raising their hand. So if you want to raise your hand, I can um, answer questions. Melody is obviously here to answer questions as well, not just me. Okay, Mike. Hi, Mike. You can unmute yourself and come out. Okay. So since I have you and Melody here and since I became the host of this for some God reason, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> How do I, I was able, I figured out how to make Melody a co-host, but how do I need to make somebody else the host so you don't lose this video? Um, I don't know how to do that. I've never done this before. So if somebody no. can tell me what to do. Yeah. No, no, that's good. As soon, once we click off, um, it should, you'll probably, I'll get an email and I'll send you a personal message to get it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. It might be beneficial if Mike, Mike, if you go to where, go to participants down below yep. and click on Rita and see on the right, it says more. Yep. Um, make her host. That way we won't chance losing this recording for you, Darren. Can you see that? Perfect. It worked. Awesome. Melody, cool. the pro. Thank you. <laughs> Not it at all. <laughs> all right. See, now we all learned something. It helps to um, to know the pros. Thank you so much, right. Mike, for, um, for doing that. <laughs> no problem. Rita? Yes, ma'am. Can uh, I just make a comment um, about yes. Melody's Melody used the phrase that our legacy should be um, the contacts that, that we have, the, the lives that we touch. And I know that people say that, but sometimes maybe you don't have a real, um, you don't get it. So if I may um, share, my mother was a fabulous woman, early childhood educator. She passed away in 2009. Just last year, I got, this is not the first call I've received from someone regarding her, but this woman, I had no idea who she was. 
somehow tracked down our phone number. She realized that my mother had lived in Arizona and she didn't know that she had passed away. But when she realized that she had, she just had to share with me how my mother had touched her life. She had been um, a student teacher under my mother 40 years before. And this woman had been that touched, that affected by my mother's teaching, how precious she was in teaching students, how kind she was, the words she used. I mean, she gave me specifics. That is the kind of thing. If I have nothing else in life, if I can have someone say, Barbara Blackman Gussack touched me this way, 30 years from now, if I'm dead and gone, that's it. I mean, I think that's awesome. That would be it. So I just wanted people to have a vision of what that really truly means, what, what Melody said. It's really affecting people for their lifetime, maybe veering their path from this way to that just a little by the type of love you showed, the kindness you gave. Um, yeah, that's where you get to the heaven and they say, he says, well done, my faithful servant. Yeah. So, Oh, Thank you. Coach Barbara, that is so beautiful. Thank you for that powerful share because yes, that's exactly what we need to remember. The future and all the impact we're making on the future by what we're doing today. Just so, so powerful. Um, Noah, I don't see anybody else with hands up. So thank you guys all so much for joining us live today. This was very meaningful. Um, and it serves a really, really big purpose to just get this, get this content out there. Um, I will send, if you want the copy of this, I'll be posting it and you're welcome to share it. And um, I just love you all. And I, I, well, you're welcome to reach out to me personally. Um, you can email me at Rita at bitsybaby.com or you can obviously reach out to me on Facebook. Anybody on this call, um, reach out to them and connect with them as well. Um, if anybody's still on video on a desktop, would you be open to snapping a picture, Coach Barb? Or... Okay. Already done, Rita. Yay, okay. Already done. Oh, nice. All right, thanks. <laughs> Love it. All right, well, everyone, good night. And I will see you guys if you're on Robert's call. We'll see you Saturday. If you're not on the Saturday call, robertpalace.com. And you can get on that call. It is only $20 a month, friends. And if you don't already have a mentor or coach, there's no reason not to have one um, at that. Uh, it's practically free, $20 a month. So I'll see you Saturday if we're going to be there. Otherwise, we'll see you on the Beyond the Secret call in Melody's class next Wednesday. And then her Friday 30-day accountability. If you guys aren't in those calls either, reach out her or me and we can connect with you. Love you all. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Toodles. Bye. Thank you, Rita. Thank you so much. Awesome. Bye, Rita. Thank you. Fantastic. You Thank all. you so much. Great call. Thank you.